over here at the workbench now to show you how to prep these pieces uh, to do the stack cutting. Uh, this is going to be a fairly easy cut uh, to stack cut. So the way I'm going to make these three pieces stay together is I'm just going to use the box tape and wrap them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two quarter inch pieces of maple and I'm going to stack them onto the bottom to where we still have our pattern on top. And I'm just going to simply take my box tape and tape all this together real good. And it'll be a little tricky, but get it folded up like that. Try to get the pieces lined up as well as you can. And go ahead and get one piece of tape to kind of hold everything secure there. Now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and wrap the rest of this around this way, and I'll go ahead and go around it this way to make sure I've got it good and secure. Uh, now, if you don't feel comfortable that this is going to hold tight for you, you can also take some nails and just drive them through into the scrap uh, area of the pattern all the way through to the bottom layer. Don't let it come out the other side, but just drive it through enough to where you can hold the pieces all together. But uh, in this case, I think the tape's going to be good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this up, and then I'll head back over to the scroll saw. Okay, I've got my stacked up uh, pieces of wood here. I've got the pattern on top. And you can see I've got it completely wrapped in the box tape. And after I got everything all wrapped up, I went back over to the drill press and drilled another entry hole that went through the entire sandwich of the board. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the outer line of this pattern and we'll have the outer wall of the box plus the top and bottom. the cut. I'm going to go ahead and remove this blade and uh, we'll take the pieces apart and see what we got. Okay, I pulled the pieces out of the uh, scrap wood. Go ahead and remove the pattern and you can see what we have is the exterior walls of the box and we've got the bottom and the top already cut and they're, they ought to be a pretty good match so when we glue them together we won't have a lot of sanding to do. I'll meet you back over at the uh, workbench and we'll start to put this together. I've got all the pieces for the box back over here at the workbench now and I'm going to go ahead and glue this up so we can be letting this dry while I'm cutting out the ornamentation for the top of the box. And uh, a little bit of a strategy here for gluing this up. When you glue the bottom walls to the, uh, the interior walls to the bottom of the box, you've got this lip all the way around it that allows the uh, exterior of the box to sit down flush with that bottom. And getting this interior heart lined up good is a little bit of a problem if you just try to eyeball it. So I'll show you how I do it. Go ahead and apply the glue to the bottom of this interior wall. And now what we can do is use the exterior walls to help us line this up. So what I can do is go ahead and slide this, set it on here just where we think it needs to be, slide the exterior walls on top, and once we get the exterior walls lined up with the bottom, right where we want it, then we know our interior walls will be glued down in a spot uh, that will line everything up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and work with this here just a second. Get it as lined up as I think it needs to be. Kind of center my kerf a little bit. Now I can pull these exterior walls off and I know I've got the interior walls uh, lined up on the bottom just like we need them. And now what I can do is go ahead and take the top of the box, 
glue it to the exterior walls and uh, we can let this be drying while I go over and cut the ornamentation. And you might still have a little sanding to do once you get done. Uh, but cutting these out, stack cutting them like we did, uh, really eliminates about 90% of the sanding. Okay, I think that's got that lined up pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back over to the scroll saw now and cut out the uh, ornamentation for the top of the box. Okay, I've moved ahead in the project quite a bit now. I went ahead and uh, let everything, uh, all the glue dry. I sanded all the edges nice and smooth. And I did go ahead and finish the applique for the top of the box. Went ahead and glued it in place. And uh, now the last step is I'm going to put a little oil finish on it. And uh, then we'll be finished. I'm going to go ahead and give our little box here a dip in the oil finish uh, like you usually see me do here. And we'll give it a good coat here. And let the top sit out there to drip dry. And the bottom. And once that dries real good, we'll go ahead and put a spray coat of uh, uh, a, a clear lacquer on there. And uh, we'll have a nice little box that you can uh, give away for uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, now this project again was the... the uh, idea behind this was to show you from start to finish from the designing of the pattern all the way through to the finished project so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see uh, this and other uh, patterns uh, please join my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com I'm Steve Good and we'll see you in the next video